New this morning, the first man is now in the hospital following blood clots thought to be caused by the Johnson Johnson vaccine. He is from San Francisco. He is in his 30s. He developed rare blood clots two weeks after receiving the Johnson and Johnson shot. The CDC just gave the green light to the vaccine after 15 women developed blood clots. That vaccine now comes with a warning about those possible rare blood clots. 8 million doses of the vaccine have already been given out. And that new case of blood clots is not stopping the Johnson and Johnson rollout from resuming right here in the St. Louis area this morning. Yeah, Forest Park Community College right now, the first mass vaccination site in our area to bring back the J&J &J vaccine. And that's where our Julia Avery is live this morning. And Julia, leaders hope today provides a jump start to vaccinations in our area. Yeah, Maurice, the hope is that this week gets us back on track as far as vaccines go. We know that St. Louis County has 1,700 Johnson & Johnson doses ready to be administered. Now, we saw a dip in people getting vaccinated, even with the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, once that Johnson & Johnson vaccine was put on hold. But as you were saying last Friday, the CDC lifted that pause. St. Charles, St. Clair, and Madison counties are now making plans to resume administration of the Johnson & Johnson & Johnson vaccine. The, the shot is convenient for vaccinating the homebound and the homeless because it is just one dose. In St. Charles County, they tell us they will let those homebound and homeless people know ahead of time which shot they will be getting. So anyone who does not want the Johnson & Johnson shot can decline it. But health officials want to remind people that the blood clots formed in 15 people out of 8 million who have received the dose, which means there's a lower risk of getting a clot from the vaccine than getting a clot from contracting COVID-19. As soon as Johnson & Johnson went on pause, we saw a dramatic reduction in the amount of people coming here for vaccinations. We were vaccinating anywhere between 1,500 and almost 4,000 people a day when we were doing Johnson & Johnson. Uh, since Johnson & Johnson was put on pause, we're lucky to get 100 people a day. Now, we have learned that St. Louis City has 150 doses in storage of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. They have not yet announced their plans for those doses. We also know that on Tuesdays is when the CDC announces their allotment of vaccines for the country. So we may very well have an update for you guys today. Reporting live at St. Louis Community College, Julia Avery, News 4.